Uh, Ken Spector here with uh, Living Eco and Eco Razzi. Oh, Eco Razzi, I like that. <laughs> Eco Razzi. So I read that you traveled down to Sao Paulo, Brazil, and were interviewing leaders of the Caiapo village and might be shooting a 3D documentary. Can you comment on this? We were in Brazil. We were in Sao Paulo, but we but our work in the in the um, in the Amazon basin was actually uh, in a number of villages that were on the Xingu River, which is a thousand miles from from Sao Paulo. Uh, when we were out there meeting with indigenous leaders, and we were not shooting in 3D because it was a very low key. There, there, we did two trips down there, and it was fairly low key. I didn't want to take in a big camera unit and, and shoot in 3D, but I but. We were, we're planning on going back down there with 3D cameras and, and we want to document village life in the Kayapo villages. We want to show the world what their life is like and how it will be destroyed by these big hydroelectric dam projects like the Belamonche Dam, which is going to displace 25,000 indigenous people and 20,000 people in, in the, the city of Altamira. So 45,000 people are going to be on the move as a result of one hydroelectric dam that Brazil does not need that they could easily replace just by doing a few simple steps of energy efficiency. And you, I read you were going to green the next set of the next Avatar movie even more than you green the last set. How are you going to go about doing that? Do you have any well, ideas? You know, like the, green, the greening of the set is just something that every, every film production should do. That's not, that, to me, that's not a big issue. Everyone should green their, their own family ecosystem, the, their footprint of their home and their workplace. And for me, the, the movie set is my workplace. So you start with yourself, you start with your family, and you start with your workplace, right? Then beyond that, what are you doing beyond that? What are you doing to make the world at large better? The biggest thing you can do is vote properly. And to vote properly, you need to educate yourself on the issues. And that's what's missing right now in this country. There's a lot of hearsay. There's a lot of demagoguery. There's a lot of hot air. And, and you know, the all the climate deniers have to do is plant the seed of doubt in people that are ignorant, and they succeed. How do you fight that? Don't be ignorant. Read. Read, find out what's going on, and vote accordingly. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it.